Welcome diseases. Thank you all for coming to this group therapy session. I sit here and I see a lot of brave faces. I have no doubt that not only you will be heard, but you will be helped. Who want to speak first? I'll start. Hello. My name is Cancer. Hi, Cancer. You know, I'm sick and tired of Corona thinking that he wants to take over as the new ultimate disease. I mean, come on, I've been around for a millennium. I can't count how many people I've killed. And this thing thinks it could take over. I mean, come on. Cancer, you've been complaining about this for the last two years. Get over it. It's been weeks since anyone has mentioned Corona. Yeah, I know, but I don't want Corona over here thinking that it deserves to be on the list as a deadly disease. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Why are you even here? You want to be starting something? I'm Corona, bitch! All you have to do is put people in a panic. You're an inconvenience. That's all you are. Ah, schemer, schemer, schemers. Okay, Herpes, it's your turn. Hi. My name's Herpes. Hello, Hello Herpes. Herpes. Look, I, I know that I come and go as I please. <laughs> but that's just part of the fun. Just when my victims are about to get some action, that's when I just pop out! <laughs> and then the look on their faces! It's priceless! And why are you here? Well, unlike Cancer over there, I admire Corona. Okay, when it comes to killing, it's a bit of a pussy fine, but you know, it created a lot of chaos. And doctor, you know me, I'm an agent of chaos. Whoa, whoa! You're out of line talking like that. Don't interrupt Cancer. Huh, what? No, he's crazy, man. I'm not. No, I'm not. This is absurd. Herpes, at least Corona is killed. You don't kill no one. <laughs> I don't, don't want to kill people. What would I do without them? Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people's lives I've destroyed mm, over the years? I'm the kind of disease that makes people turn on each other. They may be alive, but I've destroyed their souls. I've killed their willing to live. You just put them out of their misery. No, no, no. No, you see me, I just pop out every month and remind them just how pathetic their lives truly are. Speaking of which, do you know how I got these scars? No one gives a shit, Herpes. Ooh, now AIDS has decided to join in the conversation. Hello everyone, my name is AIDS. Hi AIDS. This is such a crock of shit. Corona this, Corona that. That's all everybody's talking about. That's because people can't get enough of me. I'm a motherfucking genius. There ain't nobody out like me. Who the fuck are you kidding? I remember when I came out in the 80s, that was something. Hoo ah I was killing people left and right. I took them all down. Gays, straights, bi, dykes, men, women, he males, she males, and females. I took them all down. I was a prodigy. With all due respects, AIDS, you were just a fad for fags. You call me a fag? Fad, stupid. <laughs> Just like you're gonna be someday. You haven't killed anybody since 1999. You're basically washed up. You're just as useless as polio. Polio? Did someone say my name? Look at me, polio. Look at me! What? How's the limp? Well, it comes and go, you know? Why do you always ask me that? <laughs> you're polio who had polio. I mean, they cured the disease, but you're still limping. Why are you even here? Well, you're herpes. I'm herpes. I don't have herpes. Just like cancer here doesn't have cancer, and AIDS doesn't have AIDS. But <laughs> you're polio who still has polio. <laughs> oh, lay off on herpes. The point is, AIDS. I agree with herpes. Hmm. You are washed up. Look. I've been taking people down for an entire millennia before they even knew who I was. They figured you out almost immediately. Okay, okay. They haven't cured you like polio. But you're no longer a death sentence either. I mean, for the love of God. Anyone gets AIDS these days, they call it getting the heavy. They even got the heavy dance. Do the heavy. Do the heavy. Do the heavy. Fucking do cockroaches. The heavy. Do the heavy. Do the heavy. Do the HIV, 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 do the HIV. As I was saying, AIDS, 
you're becoming nothing but a distant memory. And to be honest, you're out of order talking the way you do. Out of order? I'll show you out of order. And here we go. You don't know what out of order it is, Mr. Cancer. I'd show you, but I'm too old. I'm too tired. I'm too fucking blind. You're not fucking blind. I'm doing this for dramatic effect. But know this, I got Tom Hanks and Matthew McConaughey the first Oscars for playing me. With all due respect, Dates, I'm responsible for two of the greatest television shows ever. That's the big C. And of course, Breaking Bad. Yo, that's all me. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. If that show was taking place in Canada, it would have been over in one episode. Walter, you got cancer. Never mind here in Canada. You're fully insured. End of fucking story. I'll always be known for the one that giving Tom Hanks his first Oscar for playing me. <laughs> Hanks played a gay you. That's it. I'm tired of this shit, herpes. Ooh, what are you doing? How are you going to be the hippie? Everybody calm down. Calm down. Whoa. Back up there, toots. This is the most action we ever get to see in this place. Iron Maids, you fuck with me, you fuck with the best. Oh, oh what are you gonna do now? How are you gonna, you gonna hit me? You gonna hit me? Come on, hit me. I'm gonna hit you. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Hit me! Okay, say hello to my little friend. Well, hello there, friend. Cancer? Yeah, buddy. Do you know how I got these scars? From AIDS. From AIDS. 